All right, now let's talk about the order of the agenda. There are certain things, just like our opening, that have to be in agendas. Because remember, the agenda is what's going to keep us on track during our meeting and also let us know what's coming up next. But there are some things that have to be on the agenda besides the business that we're going to talk about in the meeting. The first thing is always the call to order. The second thing is always the roll call. So we're going to call this meeting to order and we're going to make sure that Jim and Sally and Tim and Bob and Ricky and Greg and David are all in the meeting and they're all here. Great, we can move on. Approval of agenda. Now you're saying, well, what's, what's the point of the approval of the agenda? It was probably already looked at ahead of time. Well, that's true. But in this moment, something could have changed. We may need to add something or we may have a last minute change to the agenda. So in this moment, we're going to reapprove basically that this is how the meeting's going to go. Then we're going to have the old business first, followed by new business. Now these will be broken down in Roman numerals as well. I didn't write them because I don't know how many Roman numerals you need. Your old business might take up four, five, six, seven, eight. Your new business might take up nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. However many, that's what you put in there. So you might not get all the way down to nine and 10, but that's just to give you an example. So old business, new business, then announcements, anything we need to announce, maybe, okay, the next meeting will be held, whatever it is, and adjournment. That's the last thing that we're going to do, adjournment. Um, so you always want to follow this order. The only thing that will change or have a variable is how much new business and how much old business you have. 